Hey, it's Mark Podolsky, The Land Geek, with your favorite niche real estate website, www.thelandgeek.com. And on today's episode of The Art of Passive Income, I have my co-host. You know him. You love him. Scott Todd, landmodo.com, hostingdomination.com, forward slash The Land Geek. And um, Scott, our guest today... I couldn't, I honestly like, I get, I get excited for a lot of guests, but I don't know if I've ever been this excited for a number of reasons. I, I, I'm excited too for, for a number of reasons, but uh, this, I think this is our like best guest yet. At least I hope. Th- this is our if best. He doesn't guest. let us down. No, no, I mean, I mean, not to, not to put, you know, first of all, we've, Damien's been on the best passive income model podcast, but selfishly because he ties into our, our pending unlimited funds course. He's yeah. an integral part of it. This is selfishly probably going to be the game-changing strategy that if you're listening to this podcast, you have to do because, and I don't want to steal Damien's thunder, but he'll talk all about the EQRP. But like, it, if you've ever heard of a self-directed IRA, we've had Equity Trust on and Advanta on. Um, there's a lot of benefits to this. But I don't think anything trumps the EQRP, Scott. What do you think? I, I don't think so either. And in fact, you know, there's a lot of a lot of people pushing uh, other ways of controlling your financial future. And you know, my own opinion after researching them are that they're not real, they're not legit. But this, this is the real deal. This is the real deal. So if you're driving and you're listening to this, pull over, um, start taking notes. If you are. I mean, really, you're, we're gonna, you're gonna need your full attention for today's podcast because literally it will be one of those podcasts that, it, that moves the needle in your life in uh, a variety of ways. So without further ado, we pumped him up. Damien Lupo. What's up, guys? Financial.com, the creator of the EQRP. Damien, let's just skip the pleasantries. What the hell is an EQRP? The EQRP is the ultimate in total control. And it's, it's actually why we named the, the, the company Total Control Financial to deliver this because we're handing control of people's financial futures to them, putting it in their hands so that they have control. Nobody else, not Wall Street, not a custodian, them. It's, it's a game changer. I mean, it really is. And the funny part is most people haven't even heard of it. They don't know anything. They've heard of IRAs. They've never heard of this. This is a, it's like a brand new vocabulary for them. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of logical reasons why we've never heard of it. Number one, Wall Street doesn't benefit. Um, number two, self-directed IRA people don't benefit. Um, the only person who really benefits from this is the actual investor, correct? That's it. That, and that's, when you think about why certain things are part of our, our culture, why we know about them, you nailed it. Wall Street doesn't benefit because their entire model is based on AUM, assets under management. Like you have a mutual fund with Fidelity or TD Ameritrade or whoever, and they make a percent of those assets every year if they go on vacation the whole year. It doesn't make any difference. And you pay those fees until you're dead. And it's, it's crazy if you actually look at some of the numbers, how much of your profits over your lifetime end up in their hands. So they would never, ever want to let go of, of your money. They want to keep it there and keep it trapped and keep charging fees. So anything that moves your money away from their control and into your control where there's no more fees, they don't want you to know about that ever. Right, right. Now, when you say total control, give us an idea of what we can actually do within our EQRP. Okay, so when, when we say total control, we're giving you control to do everything you've already been able to do. So if you were able to buy and invest in, say, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, all that stuff, you get access to that. And anything you can dream up with about six exceptions, like you can't buy collectible rugs, you can't buy uh, gold doubloons from the, bat- the bottom of the ocean or, uh, or a bunch of wine because the IRS says that's, that's too consumable. Other than that, you can buy just about anything. And the big thing for people, most people are saying, well, I really want to buy real estate. I want to do something with real estate. And so when you end up with your EQRP, you've got a checkbook that you can take and write a check for the investment that you want to, you want to invest in. You don't need anybody's approval. You don't need anybody to say yes or no. You're not 
paying a fee for them to give you your money every time you want. And that's one of the things that happens with the self-directed IRAs and the custodians. Every time you blow your nose, you get charged for the Kleenex, like a hundred bucks per sneeze. I mean, it's crazy. So we take that out of the equation. Unless you use a lot of ink on your checks, there's, you're not going to have a cost every time you do something. Every time you collect a rent check or whatever the things are that happen inside of these investments. And with real estate, it can often involve a lot of transactions, a lot of things going on, money moving around. Well, that can basically kill you with all those fees from a custodian. So even a self-directed IRA, which is how most people end up doing alternative investments, you're getting hammered by all these these fees. And you've got to have somebody that approves your stuff. That's a pain in the butt. And you don't want to have to go and get permission. I mean, this, we're not five years old. This isn't elementary school where you have to, have to ask to go to the bathroom. You should be able to be in control. So this gives you that. You are going to hold a checkbook and you are going to make the choices whenever you want to. So you're taking away the fees. You're taking away the friction. Um, who is this not for? Like if you're, if you're somebody listening to this right now, um, what's the fear? Like, well, the fear is the unknown. Like, well now, you know, I've got this trustee who's taking care of me and doing everything for me, or I've got this money manager who's making all these decisions for me. Maybe I don't want total control. I, I think there honestly are people that are irresponsible and they should not do this. They, this would be a very bad idea. Your listeners, the people that are, are paying attention to you and what you teach are not part of that world. There, there could big part of this is the, the focus on educating yourself and becoming empowered and, and confident. And so if you're not willing to spend the time to educate yourself on writing the check and being smart about your investing, you don't want this. I mean, absolutely, this is a terrible idea. Deal with the fees, the lack of control, stay with Wall Street. Because you'll probably do more damage to yourself than the fees will. I mean, quite honestly, this is for somebody that is, is going to own that They're going to be self-responsible about their money and their financial future. Right, right. And, and Scott and I are going to make it really easy for everybody who gets EQRP because we already have this massive note portfolio, right? So if you don't want to go through the headache of, you know, sending out offers, buying an asset 20 cents on the dollar, flipping it and making 300% to 1,000% on a note, in your EQRP, right? We'll just buy our note and make 12%, right? Because 12% compounded tax-free or tax-deferred ain't just 12%, right? It's, it's a way, way bigger uh, return. And between you and me, I mean, what do we get in the stock market right now? I think we're lucky if we keep our capital at this point. We're lucky we keep our capital plus we're paying fees. So Scott Todd. Well, Mark, I actually had a neighbor uh, who's, who's uh, still involved with uh, a Wall Street firm. And I was talking to him not even like three weeks ago. And I said, what are you promising? Uh, what are you telling clients that your yield's going to be in a stock market? And he said, he said uh, we're telling them 4 to 6% over a 10-year window. So... They've even, yeah. like back in the day, it was like, oh, you could make 8 to 10%. Now it's like 4 to 6%. Right. And, you know, back to my investment banking days, the companies that we would look at, 80% were run for management. Upper management was the ones who benefited. They didn't care about the investors. They didn't care about Wall Street. They cared about themselves. And so now you've got this small pool of companies that are really, you know, efficient with their capital, right? Like, let's say, like Warren Buffett method. Well, it's, it's, I mean, we've seen all the studies, like you have as good a chance of making a good return in the stock market as a monkey throwing a dart, right? And then picking that stock. So nobody knows, unless you're an insider, what's going on in these companies, right? But if you're buying real estate or you're buying an asset that you intimately know, you have a huge advantage. Damien, I don't understand why this isn't like, the biggest thing ever because even let's just take another model, right? Let's say that, for example, I'm a, I don't know, I'm a car dealer, right? And I know how to buy cars from people that, you know, put them on a Craigslist. I can fix them up and then I sell them and make $10,000. I could do that in an in QRP, right? You've got, you've got options to do just about anything. You can structure doing business, owning businesses inside 
these plans with there's just there's there's so many options it's kind of endless and limitless the, the one of the things that i don't think most people know the like when when they the, the four to six percent that's being thrown out out there most people don't realize that the when congress set up the whole 401k and, and all this you know, these retirement accounts back in the early 70s through the ERISA act they forced everyone to start taking money out at age 70 and a half and there's this huge problem called the baby boomers and the baby boomers are all hitting 70 and a half like 10,000 a day are hitting 59 there's a forced withdrawal that has to happen because of the law which means all of these millions of baby boomers are having to pull out a certain amount of money out of the stock market do you really think that all that money coming out is going to drive prices up and you're going to get your four to six percent or it's going to drive prices down? I mean, it's, it's math and it's the law. So looking elsewhere, people can rest assured guarantee they're going to get hammered in the stock market in the coming years. And things like real estate, I absolutely love because you have control. You're in the driver's seat. So I wouldn't touch the stock market with a 10 foot pole. And Warren Buffett, lovely guy, smart guy. He makes his money so much of his money in the stock market because he's selling derivatives, option thing, and, and things, hundreds of millions of dollars a year. Most people don't know that. So if you really, you have to be active and, and engaged or you're going to get hammered. And right now, because of the law, if you're in the stock market, buckle up because you're about to become a punching bag for, you know, for, you just can get killed. Yeah. Yeah. And if you really want to know how you're getting, you're getting fleeced by Wall Street, watch the movie, The Big Short. Big time. Yeah. Huge. It'll, it'll tell you a lot. And it's, it, we, we haven't seen the end of it at all. Hey, Mark, yeah. the, the other thing I think is that uh, you asked, you know, why, why have people not heard about this or why is, why is everybody not talking about this? And I think it's, I think it's really goes back to people don't know that they have a choice when it comes to their retirement account. You know, they've been trained. You put your money. I mean, it's no different than, than, Hey, go to college, get a good job and you, you'll be set for the rest of your life. I mean, they've been trained get a job with a big company or with a company, put your money in the 401k that the, that, that's all invested in stock. And then when you leave the company, you can either roll it over to your other 401k or you know what? There's every bank on every single corner of this country. They want to take that and never once do they ever tell you, hey, by the way, according to the law, you can invest in real estate because they make zero money off of that. So they want to make, they want to put it back to where they're making money, which is stocks, bonds, mutual funds. The fees on mutual funds are ridiculous. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, this is like, I mean, not to get too geeky, right? But Damien Lupo is like Morpheus from the matrix. And he's saying to you, look, you are in the matrix right now and you are being totally controlled by these programs. We'll call the programs wall street. But if you take the red pill, right? And you get the EOQRP, there's this whole world and you're in total control, right? Do you like that analogy, Damien? Uh, that's it. And you know what? There's no going back. Once, you, once your eyes are opened up to the opportunity to be in control, there's no way to look at the markets and, and check out anymore. Like you wake up and you go, it's not what I thought it was. It's not what I've been told for the last 30, 40, 50 years. Like I've been I've been lied to. And I, I think it's funny because I, I had somebody say, well, I don't know about this conspiracy stuff. And I said, well, what's the definition of a conspiracy? Two people have a conversation. Now it's conspiracy. Well, there's a whole system. It's called Wall Street. It's not hidden. It's in plain sight. Just look at the marketing. Look what they're telling you to do. Look at those corner banks that are saying, roll your money over into an IRA. And guess what? We can help you. We'll put it into a CD or something. And then it's an asset of the bank. It's on their their balance sheet where they're actually looking better because your money is sitting there. Well, if you invest in real estate, whose balance sheet is it on? It's on yours. You're in right. control. That doesn't benefit anybody except for what you said earlier, Mark. It benefits you, the investor, period. Right. I'm shocked. We just had a major revelation here. The banks are not looking out for you. That's huge. I mean, who would have well, known that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's crazy. No one's looking out for you except you. That's right. And hey, everyone who says, hey, I'm looking out for you, they're getting a fee for looking out for you, right? But in the end, like they have no control of the stock market. Yeah. They're your financial planner, they can't tell you what's going to happen tomorrow, right? So Mark, you, you know, like I, I, I agree. Like the Wall Street is such a roulette wheel. When I worked where I worked, we'll leave the names out. You know, the management of the company, um, they would push 
they would push things just to move the needle. And you see this all the time with public traded companies. And I'm not saying that there's laws broken or anything. I'm just saying that sometimes decisions are made that aren't in the best uh, in, in the best light for shareholders in order to hit numbers, in order to either bonus or to move the needle in terms of the stock price, but it might be a short-term short term number. I mean, it, there, there are notorious stories about companies that make bad decisions trying to hit a quarterly number for the analyst. And then it, it, it looks good today, but then it compounds over time. And it, it's really not, again, another example of if you're not looking after your own money, well, then someone else is going to look after it from their own perspective. Well, it, it, you know, I have, I have a story that, that really nailed me. It hit me hard. A lot of people I know, uh, one, one, of the, one of the businesses I've been involved with for a number of years is the precious metals business. And it's, so there's a commodity there. And there was a company called MF Global that allowed people like me or farmers to hedge our metals or our corn with these type of accounts using options and all this stuff. Well, here's the guy running this firm named John Corzine, who was also the governor of New Jersey and a U.S. senator. Yeah, he's and, and I all of a sudden get this news blip on, on CNBC or something, and it, it talks about MF Global declaring bankruptcy. And I went, wait a second, how can they declare bankruptcy? And what had happened is it, my money and everybody else's money that's supposed to be in a, like a shareholder account was being used to buy derivatives and bonds and things in Europe and up oh, the market went sideways, went against them and they lost their, our money that they weren't supposed to touch. It's illegal for them to touch it. So I essentially lost all faith in that type of system where somebody, criminals are able to get away with it, totally connected criminals. And I went, how do we do something different where we're in control? Somebody can't play roulette with our money. And that's where this came into came into existence where I went, this is a great option. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking at my bookshelf. I'm trying to find my QRP book. I see it. The quick and dirty guide to the QRP. So we kind of, you know, we got so excited, Damien, about just getting right into the eQRP. We didn't really give the listeners your background because even though you were on the best passive income model podcast, for those of you just now listening, like let's just do a proper, you know, introduction to you and, and your story and how you came up with the EQRP. So I've been in the alternative, uh, the alternative investment world for a long time, did a lot of real estate developing, investing, uh, building and all this kind of stuff for about a decade. And then I started looking at other alternative investments and specifically the metals world with gold and silver. And I was in that world, didn't even know about this, this type of thing, this product, the, the QRP and, and the eQRP. I didn't know anything about it. I had, a, I had a customer actually come to me and say, hey, I want to use my retirement money to buy some metals. And I went, I don't even know what you're talking about. So I, I served him and was able to do this. And then I dug in, got my attorney involved. And we went and wrote a book together about this because I loved it so much. I said, I, I need to share this. And so the, the business model shifted from focusing on metals to focusing on the vehicle that would allow people to do anything, including real estate, because it was so superior to the self-directed IRAs. I went, people need this. They don't even realize, they, they don't even know this is an option. And so I shifted all of my energy over to delivering the news that there's a way better option for people to do all their investing. And there's just a laundry list of, of amazing components to it that people go, wait, I can do that and that and this and that, and it's protected this way and nobody can touch this. And why would I do anything else is really the question. Actually, before they ask, why should, would I do anything else? They're pissed off that they didn't know about it 20 years ago. So it's, it's kind of fun. It, it was almost an accident that I ended up being in the space I'm in to, to share this. The, the book is really gives you the nuts and bolts. And I, I would love to I would love to share that with, with folks and, and, and give them a copy if, if they're interested in, in this self-responsible and taking control of their, their finances. Yeah, that's, that's great. That's very generous. So um, Scott Todd, what, what, what are your thoughts? Like when are you getting your EQRP? I already signed up and I'm in the process now, but now let's be honest. It ain't, I mean, the paperwork by the way is ridiculously easy. I have to tell you, Dana, I was really, really impressed with the, with the paperwork, but um, it is going to take about three weeks for my money to get into my EQRP, correct? Just logistically. 
that, that's pretty normal, usually a few weeks. And if, if you have a really, really friendly uh, brokerage firm or custodian that doesn't want your money, and I've actually never seen that before. They all want to keep your money. They all want to reject you getting access to your money. And it often takes about three weeks to get them to give you your own money. So just expectation wise, it's helpful to not think you're going to have your money in two days. It, three, three weeks is pretty reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. So I already know what I'm doing with my money. Um, I'm going to buy Scott's notes. So, um, you know what, there's no better investment for me because he's already done all the work. I'm going to make a massive return. And the worst case is the best case for me, right? Scott doesn't pay me. And I get my, and I get his land and then I make 300% to a thousand percent. So for me, it's win, win, win. Right. And then Scott can do the same thing with me. Yeah. Right. Which is Here, kind of where the, the unlimited funds part comes in. Here's the thing, Mark, is the, um, not, not just, it's not just the, the yield either. Like I have a uh, self-directed IRA and here's, here's the problem with that I have with the self-directed IRA. It, and this is all on me. I, I own this error and, and I know that having access like Damien's um, mentioning is so much better because here's what happens to me is I will buy an asset and my self-directed IRA company, they want to charge me literally to buy that asset a hundred dollars. And so then I, then I'm like, oh, I don't want to spend the hundred dollars because I don't want the money coming out of my, IRA. And at the same time, I don't want to necessarily break out the credit card for the hundred dollar fee. And so I, I do move it, but I, I, I let it sit in cash longer than it should be because I'm not moving it fast enough. And we always say money loves speed, but yet I've got money sitting in cash, sitting in a retire in, in an IRA account, not moving. And the worst thing now is that I'm paying quarterly fees to have that money sit in cash. It's the worst case scenario, right? So now I take, I get rid of that, that annual or the, uh, the fee, get rid of the annual fee. I get rid of the check per check fee. I get rid of the fee to FedEx, an envelope. I get rid of the fee to, to sell the asset. Literally there's a fee to sell the asset, to buy the asset. I'm feed all the way out the door. It's a, I mean, my return is going to be like negative. So, you know, that's, that's like, you know, if you're listening to this and you have a self-directed IRA, I know that you're feeling the same way because you have a lot of cash sitting, sitting in your self-directed IRA. It's time to put it to use. And you mentioned something that was really, really critical. You mentioned speed and this is the, the velocity of, of money and, and not having your money sit. The only one that benefits with money sitting still is Wall Street. And there's a reason they say, just invest and don't do anything. You're investing for the long term. Well, yeah, that's great. It's like going back to Warren Buffett. What does he do? He trades. He trades and his money is always moving. And so the faster you have access to your money to be able to write checks, to be able to invest without getting hammered, like with the custodians, with the IRA, the better you are. When you have a checkbook, you, I don't know how much faster you can invest. I mean, you, in five seconds, you can invest and, it's, and you're, you're in. Yeah, yeah. And the, uh, it's, uh, the money's through BB&T, Big Bank, um, and, um, you know, it's for like a, from a, a safety point of view, right? So they're FDIC insured, correct? And um, Yeah, there, there, there's actually, there, there's a reason that we love that institution. I actually did an extensive amount of research before we built our strategic alliance with them. And it was because of the, the philosophy of their bank. They're totally in alignment with us around self-responsibility. I read the chairman, John Allison's book uh, last year, and I, I fell in love. I've never thought that I would, I never thought I would fall in love with a bank's philosophy and a bank. And I really did. I love their bank. They're the 11th biggest in the country, 200 plus billion in assets. And they don't screw around. They were one of the, maybe the only, they were one of the only banks in the 2008 meltdown that didn't need anything. And they were irritated because they were forced to take TARP money. So I love how they operate. I love how they look at things. And I have zero concern about being at risk with having cash there that I'm using to invest with my EQRP or for you guys, totally safe, no, zero concern with this institution. And, and I vetted them hard. Yeah, it's great. And what, you know, there's so much flexibility in the EQRP. Um, you know, like I can even borrow up to $50,000 from my own retirement plan and pay myself back at 10%. And, 
you know, buy that big asset that I want 20 cents on the dollar. And it's just win-win everywhere along that, that chain. Um, you know, I remember looking into a defined benefit plan and that wasn't nearly as, as strong as EQRP. So, you know, some people who are, you know, big income earners, right? And they need to put away, they, they can put away a lot of money, right? Well, how much is the most you can put per year into your EQRP? If you're under 50, it's 53,000 a year. And if you're over 50, it's 59,000. And if you're, if, if it's a couple, let's say a husband and wife, or there's two people in the household, that's literally a hundred, hundred plus thousand a year that you can put in and you can do part of it as a Roth, which means it's after tax, means it never gets taxed, or you can do it all deferred. You've got some options there. I love the Roth personally, because this, one of the goofiest things ever is the idea that you should do a bunch of deferred tax deferred instead of Roth. You should do that now because your tax bracket is going to be lower when you get older. And I'm thinking, so you want to plan to be broke. You want to plan to be basically poverty stricken when you retire, when you quote unquote retire. I, I'm thinking I'm going to be in the top tax bracket. That's my plan. It's to be wealthy. And everybody here should be thinking that. We should, why would you want to plan to be broke? So you've got these tools within the EQRP where you can have tons of cash. I mean, literally 10 times as much that you can put into this as compared to an IRA. Why would you want to mess around with an IRA if you can do 10 times as much and build up this never get taxed thing? And we haven't even talked about inherited EQRPs where somebody that's 25 years old can never pay taxes again in their entire life. I mean, there's, there's some amazing pieces to this that people are going to love. And again, they're going to be annoyed that they didn't know it about it 20 years ago. They'll be, it'll be one of the best, maybe the best choice that, that you, you've ever made once you have one. Inherited QRP? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of an awesome thing. You, so if you, when, you, when you have your, your EQRP, you can, you can have other people involved, meaning like let's say you have a, a grandparent and, and that grandparent has an account. Well, it, let's say you decide to set it up for them and, and you pay them, they have some income and they put it in their account. It's in the Roth. So this is going to be a little bit granular, but it, there's, there's more information in the book and on the website. Bottom line is they end up with this money that you put in there. So they don't care. I mean, it's not affecting them. And then you're the beneficiary. So when they die, cause everybody is going to die at some point, then you have this money that comes to you. That's now an inherited Roth EQRP. Doesn't matter what age you are. You have the ability to invest it, to spend it, to do whatever you want, regardless of what age you are. So you could be 25 years old, inherit this thing, use that. If you're investing, if you become a skilled investor, you can invest and live off of that. And I'm, 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 talking, I'm saying no tax. There's no tax ever again. I don't know how much better you get than that. That's an amazing estate planning strategy. Um, Scott Todd, is your head about to explode? Oh, I can't hear you. You can't hear me. Can't hear. Now I got you. I'm having a hard time putting my head around the inherited. That's something else. It, it, it's kind of awesome. I mean, when, you, when it happens and you can, I mean, really, I, I don't know why anybody wouldn't also think about doing that and why families wouldn't consider that as a tool to help fortify their, their financial house and just, and set themselves up for, generational success. It's, it's very, very powerful to take taxes out of the equation permanently. Mark, I'm, I'm, it gets even better. What can I say? I love it. I love it. This, and to set this up, it's a one time fee, Damien, and there's no more fees. Yeah. It's 1500 bucks to, to set it up and, and it's, it's done. Uh, you have every year, surprise, surprise, the IRS and the department of labor and everybody changes their rules. And, and there's, there's amendments. So you're going to stay in compliance one of two ways. You're going to have to go gather that stuff up or we do it automatically. Most people do it automatically. And we charge 200 bucks flat, whether you have 100,000 or 100 billion in your account. We don't charge you 3% or anything like that. We just make sure that this stuff is in compliance and that anything that changes, you know about it. So you don't have to worry about it. A lot of people are concerned that they might make a mistake. We don't let you make a mistake. And that's, I mean, to, to me, that's, that's priceless for anybody to know that they're in good hands. 
I, I love it. I love it. Um, I'm doing it. So, um, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I can't poke any holes in it. Scott Todd, any holes to, to not, any not, darts to throw at Damien's head? I, I, nothing. And if you could see me right now, I'm like, here, can, how, how, how do I, how do I do this? Hurry up and take my money. Take, take my credit card right now, please. <laughs> yeah, there's, it's, that's, that's the, the rational response. Either that or you, I mean, I guess you go stand in front of traffic. I mean, there's really two choices here. <laughs> well, I, I, th I think the, the other response is irrational. And irrational means a, um, it, what irrational means a, a fear, right? A, uh, an unfounded fear is being irrational, right? So I can see some people that wouldn't do this are just simply, you know, they have anxiety. They, don't, they feel like they don't have enough information or they feel there's, there's some kind of, you know, I don't know, bridge of trust they have to walk through first because it's been so ingrained in their matrix. That's right. right? That to take that red pill is scary. And I get it. Um, but, you know, I've done my research, bb and I'm going through it. Um, it's pretty simple. I mean, and it's, it's amazing. So if you want to learn more, um, go to totalcontrolfinancial.com. That is my tip of the week. So Scott Todd, what's your tip of the week? Oh, come on. You stole mine. It's okay. It's okay. I have another one. I have another one though. Okay. So Mark, I, I, uh, I'm on a Snapchat kick here. You know, like I, I'm enjoying posting snaps throughout the day. Um, and so anything that has Snapchat in it is like on my radar right now. And there's a website for those of you Snapchatters out there, which I think I'm the oldest guy on Snapchat now or next, maybe, maybe, maybe the, the second oldest. I don't know. But if you go to uh, what, what is this thing? It's called um, Snapdex and Snapdex is snapdex.com. And basically it's like a Wikipedia of snap handles or, you know, snap chatters, if you will. And it's a way of going and finding other people that you want to connect with. Because one of the downsides about Snapchat is like, I can't necessarily go and hunt, hunt down your name unless I know who you are. So there, there's, you know, there's a number of directories out there that help people connect and find each other. This is a cool one. I like it. Snap deck. Snap Dex, D E X. Snap. Oh, Snap D E X. Okay, no wonder I couldn't find it. Yeah, snapdex.com. Well, I'll tell you what, my 11 year old's going to love this. Oh, yeah, see? Yeah. <laughs> I am now. But I'm looking at these pictures, man. I mean, you know, like Snoop Dogg's on there. He's older than me. Hey, look, Rihanna's on here. Yeah, look at number five, though. You, you're, you're in demand with that guy. Like, oh, you know. yeah. Major key to success. DJ Cali is the biggest Snapchatter. Yeah. Um, Although I guess he's not. I guess he's number five. I guess number one's Rihanna. Rihanna. Look at Rihanna, man. Five seconds of something. Summer. Summer. Come on, Come on. Calvin Harris. Schoolboy Q is number four. Yeah. Snoop Dogg, though. Come on. This is this is why I don't do Snapchat. It's uh, it really is interesting. And I'll tell you what, Mark. You know, like one of the tips of the weeks a few I don't know months ago now was Badger, right? Like to badger your kids and yeah, like, yeah. And I've been using that, but you know what gets better response from my kids? Snapchat. When I can go on there and say, send them a message, hey, go do this, and it's 10 seconds, and then I know that they got it, and it's a private like Snapchat, it's good. Just don't do what I've done a couple times and actually mean to send it to your kids, and you put it on your story, and then you're like, oh my God, I gotta delete this thing. Uh, because no one wants to see you at your kids. All right. That, I, I, love, I love it. Great tip. Damien Lupo, what is your tip of the week? So I've, I've fallen in love with somebody that you guys may have heard of, people listening may have heard of. His name is Grant Cardone. Oh, and so, we had Grant Cardone on the podcast. Not, I, not this one, but Best Passive, yeah. I, I love this guy. And his, his, one of it, he's got a number of books. The book that is everywhere. Like, like Grant says, be everywhere, dominate, just go crush it, be, be like a hungry dog on the back of a meat truck. He, he's got the book called The 10X Rule. And so we were li I've listened to this and read it five times already. And 
I, so my tip is go digest this and consume it. And in order to do that even faster, the, the, the tool that I use is I'll take – I'll buy the audio version of something and the Kindle version of something. And so I'll be reading something and listening to it at triple speed because I can't actually process anything at triple speed. Normally, my brain can't go that fast. If my eyes are watching it and I'm going over and I'm listening to it at triple speed and my fingers highlighting things, now I've got all these senses going on. I'm consuming this thing hyper fast and I'm retaining it because books, normally you retain like 10% or something max. Well, this is, this is how I consume and then process and utilize things i would start with the 10x rule get it on audio get it on audio on audible triple speed it kindle and then make your notes that is a powerful way to move quickly into the domination of whatever space you're going to be in so there you go i i love that tip in fact i actually have done that so i've but i i like what you're doing more so what i'll do is i buy the actual physical book the paper mm-hmm. and then i listen to it on 2x speed I'm going to try it on 3x speed. I'm going to try the Kindle version because I'll save money. I'll save space. And I can do the note thing. Well, here, here's, right, here's, I'm, here's, I'm down. Here, here's one of the cool things too about the Kindle. When, when you do your notes on it, so that I have all these books and they have pen marks and everything. And I basically never look at them again. With my Kindle, after I get done with the different highlighting and the notes I put in there, I can go and say, I want to look at all my notes. So I can reread a book in about 10 minutes. I'm going in there and it's just a summary of all the notes and the highlights and I can zip through those. So a book that took a couple hours or three hours or whatever, 10 minutes and I've got, I've hit all the highlights that mattered to me the first time I went through it. That is power. That is great. You know, you know what book I just listened to? Um, the Magic of Tidying Up by that, the Japanese woman. Have you, heard, have you read that? Absolutely. I love it. Does this spark joy? It's a simple it's a simple question, but if you apply that to everything in your life, relationships, stuff, you know, it, it, you become so light and free. Like, I, like last night, I, I have three garbage bags now of paper that I didn't need to keep. Like I'm just, you know, shredding, getting rid of it. I've got my three piles. I'm going, I, I threw out you know, like three, I, and I've done that actually with my clothes, um, but now I'm going to go into my books and do it. Like, does this spark joy? Um, I love that. Okay. So Scott, I'm going to ask you this and then Damon, I'm going to ask you this because I'm just curious. Scott Todd, we, the Bible, you can't say the Bible. It's too easy. You're on a desert island. You can only have one book to read again and again and again. What would you bring? Oh, um, it's a tough I, one, isn't it? it? It is a tough one. Um, I'm just trying to think. I to see what I have with me because as you know, I just moved and I just did bring a couple of books with me. Okay. Well, while he's thinking of it, I'm going to do a, a quick commercial for LoanGeek.io. Are you tired of paying too much money to a simple money type program? Avoid fees. Automate your notes. LoanGeek.io. It's going into beta. Just send us an email. Subject line, simple money killer and go through a demo. Okay. Let's return. Okay. Well, I would probably say uh, a book that I go back to and listen to frequently, like on audio, uh, Audible, is uh, Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill. Okay. You know what's funny is I've read the book. I, have not, I do not have that audio book. And um, it's an interesting, it's, it's a very positive book. I think it's a timeless classic, especially what, what I enjoy about it is every time I listen to it, I get another um, kind of take on it. But I enjoy the stories of like the early 1900s with Carnegie and with, uh, you know, uh, Charles Schwab and all those like business leaders of the day and being able to get into their minds. I think it's a timeless classic story. Fantastic. Damien Lupo, Desert Island book. Desert Island book. It, 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 so you mentioned the, the art of tidying up um, the, and the, a book that I've, I, in, I've, I found out about it last year and I've read it, I think three or four times. And it's, it's consistently a new fresh message for some reason is essentialism. And it, it really goes down to, you know, the basics. I love that book. Uh, yeah. I think we gave, we, we were giving that book away at boot camp and, by the way, boot camp. If you're listening to this, is October 21st through 23rd, and our only guest, our only guest, 
is going to be Damian Lupo to talk about in general, in, in depth, the EQRP. So in Orlando, October 21st through 23rd, um, be there because it's the only time that you'll have total land investing immersion. And we're going to take those land, that land investing wealth and we're going to have it grow tax-free in a Roth or tax deferred in your IRA and have total control in your EQRP and learn all about that. So um, I think my Desert Island book, I love Essentialism, by the way, um, and I love the audiobook, is actually a fiction book. It's a long one. It's long. It's called Shantaram. Have you heard of this? No. S-H-A-N-T-A-R-A-M. I highly recommend the audiobook for this um, because it's like theater. And if you take uh, Slumdog Millionaire and combine it with Goodfellas, that is Shantaram. So um, phenomenal book. I think Johnny Depp was trying to make a movie of it. It's like 24 hours. I mean, talk about getting your audio credit. Like if you had to get like, you know, like when they say audible, like you get one book, like that's like for your free book, get Shantaram. I mean, talk about, you know, beating the system right there. Um, it's phenomenal though. So Scott Todd, are we good? Mark, we are, we are good. Damien Looper, are we good? We are awesome. All right. I want to remind everybody, learn more, go to the landgeek.com, um, download for free your passive income blueprint and look, give Scott Todd some love. Look at the guy. Come on. He needs some love. Go to landmoto.com forward slash wholesale, invest in some wholesale land. Um, if you are, if you are manually posting Craigslist ads, why just automate it? Um, go to postingdomination.com forward slash the land geek, um, and get involved there. Also, if you are interested in automation, Scott Todd and I are starting to open up our five-week live enrollment in the automation course. Mark, uh, I, I am so excited about this course. Like this course is going to be like mind-blowing. Five weeks of hardcore. This isn't like a sit down and take notes type of a deal. I mean, you're going to take notes. This is, here's the task, go do it. And during that five weeks, you will see automation and the spark of automation come to life in your business and it, the thing will just explode. You'll find that your productivity will just go through the roof. Yeah, if you're interested in enrolling and getting the application on that, just go ahead and email support at thelandgeek.com, email head explosion or automation um, for your subject. Damien Lupo. TotalControlFinancial.com. I want to thank you. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing you live in Orlando, October 21st through 23rd. I can't wait. Um, I want to thank all the listeners again. Um, listen to this one again, because it is probably going to be the best podcast you've ever listened to in your entire life because it's, you know, podcast information, but if you execute on this, it will make a huge difference in your life, your retirement, your wealth, and the big mission um, in for land geek is create, grow and protect wealth. And this really, in, uh, encompasses all three to have total control in your retirement. So, um, I want to thank everybody, please subscribe, rate and review the new podcast. We would appreciate it. We'll, you know, we'll send you a gift too, if you do it. So, um, and send a screenshot of the, uh, of the review to support the and get your, your gift. Um, Scott Todd, thank you. Damian Lupo, thank you. Listener, thank you. We'll see everybody next time. Thanks, guys.